Well, this is certainly a strange way to start a show on February 20th, 1939. A Nazi rally took place at Madison Square Garden. It was organized by the German American Bund. More than 20,000 people attended and Fritz Julius Kuhn was a featured speaker. This was billed as a pro Americanism rally. Yesterday, Donald Trump recreated this rally in the same place. He brought lunatics and racists and xenophobes. A comedian named Tony Hinchcliffe even called Puerto Rico a floating pile of garbage in the ocean. We'll get to that later. This may have been the single most disgusting rally I have ever seen, starting off in what was sort of a funny way as Melania Trump again dodging a kiss on the lips from Donald Trump. Apparently, the renegotiation of the prenup didn't include any kissy kissy on the lips. And what a wild event with Donald Trump showing up two hours late, as is often the case these days. He's just hours late explanation. Who cares? But truly one of the most disgusting, hate filled, just hate in every way rallies and no shortage of extraordinarily disturbing statements from the failed former and wannabe future president, Trump raising a lot of red flags by talking about a little secret. We've we've got a little secret, right? Uh, a little secret that he's going to tell you about after the election is over. What is Trump confessing to here? And I think with our little secret, we're going to do really well with the House, right? Our little secret is having a big impact. He and I have a secret. We'll tell you what it is when the race is over. I right. What on earth is Trump confessing to here? Probably the secret is he has ideas for how to steal not only the presidential election, but also the election in the House of Representatives. In maybe the creepiest moment, Trump, as we all know, focused on genes and genetics and who's got the good blood and this sort of thing. And Trump says he would like to have the children of JPJD Mandel Vance and Usha Vance. Uh, it just really creeps you out. Brilliant woman, top, top student, top student at Yale Law School. They were both top students. Dop. They're going to have very smart kids. If you believe in that, I believe in it strongly. I would like to have their children because they are going to be smart. Yale Law School, top of the class, both of them. Usha Vance, thank you, Usha, for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Would Trump not that thrilled, I guess, with the genetics of his his children, maybe his phrenology textbook that he maybe read 40 years ago suggests a little something different. I don't know. Now, as many of you know, it is said by Trump about himself. He supports the troops. He defends the military. The cupboards were bare when he came in and took over from Barack Obama. And also during his Nazi style rally at Madison Square Garden yesterday, saying that a lot of the generals he had were weak and stupid people, not not exactly supporting the troops, is it? We had stupid generals like Millie and Mattis, weak, stupid people. But fear not, we have great generals, just not the ones that you see on television all the time. He supports the troops. No one supports the troops more strongly than he does, except the ones that have decided Trump's unfit to lead, except the ones unable or unwilling to lay down and have Trump walk all over them like a doormat, except for the troops that are working to defend against MAGA rioters. Other than all of those troops, and the Mexican soldier whose funeral he doesn't want to pay for after agreeing to pay for other than that and a long list of specific troops, he supports the troops and it's the Democrats who don't. A scary moment for all of those who care about not having measles and all sorts of other contagious disease in society. Donald Trump promising during his rally to let Robert F. Kennedy Jr. go wild on health foods and medicines. That's a scary proposition Health and the environment than anybody. And he's going to be 
Absolutely. Having him is such a great honor. I've been friends of his for a long time. And uh, I'm going to let him go wild on health. I'm going to let him go wild on the food. I'm going to let him go wild on me Polio and measles and smallpox held a party last night when they heard this. The only thing I don't think I'm going to let him even get near is the liquid gold that we have under our feet. I don't know, Elon, he might not like liquid gold. It's oil and gas, sometimes referred to as oil and gas. J.D., I think we're going to have to keep him away from the oil and gas. What do you think, Howard? Right. Yes. Yes, it will be a world in which there will be raw milk at every corner, but not a vaccine as near as the eye can see. Uh, as you know, various sycophants and dilettantes were at yesterday's rally. One such sort of new world sycophant is Elon Musk, who we recently learned worked illegally in the United States for all of his concern about all of the illegals and migrants. It turns out he was here working illegally at one point in time. Trump started praising Elon, who was in the audience with his mom. And Elon just he was on the edge of genuflecting. That's how sycophantic this whole thing was. And it straightened it out like this and it came down and it landed. And then it's two of these big, beautiful arms grabbed it and they held it tight. And by the way, Trump is not describing a sexual encounter here. He's talking about the recent landing of a SpaceX rocket. And I said, I wasn't sure if it was a movie. I actually thought, I thought it might be one of these crazy movies. And I said, I got to call Elon. And I call him. I said, Elon, was that you? This is like about four minutes after. Was that you? Yep, that was me. I say, Elon, you're, you're a genius. You are a genius. You are a, he is special. Yep. He is. Special. And as you see, Elon, Elon Musk's mom nodding. Yes. He is a genius. He is a genius. It wasn't all fun and games and propaganda, though. There was also dangerous autocratic authoritarianism, which if you're ever going to recreate the 1939 Nazi rally at Madison Square Garden, one would expect autocratic authoritarianism. And we saw it. Donald Trump turning his ire and the ire of the audience that was still there. Of course, he was many hours late and people started to leave against the press. One thing I have been even the enemy because they are the enemy, what they've said, even that enemy, too, when they're really the enemy, they're the enemy of the people, the press. They said the enemy of the people, the press and, of course, Donald Trump threatening to suspend the broadcast licenses of CBS, MSNBC, ABC, specific journalists, specific reporters. That's that's what he plans to do. And we should believe him as disgusting and depraved as it is. And then Donald Trump, as is often the case during these rallies, getting the timeline mixed up a little bit where he says he's been fighting sinister forces for nine years. Of course, Trump was in charge of the country for four of those nine years. Get your husband off the couch. The football game doesn't mean a damn thing. You got to get out and vote. Get up, Harry. Come on, Harry, get up, Harry. Let's go. You're going to vote for the president, Harry. We're going to save our country. For the past nine years, we have been fighting against the most sinister and corrupt forces on Earth. With your vote in this election, you can show them once and for all that this nation does not belong to them. This nation belongs to you. It belongs to you. And of course, speaking of who the nation belongs to, a real perfect Third Reich style moment where Donald Trump's propaganda speechwriter Stephen Miller said America is for Americans and Americans only. The cartels are gone. The criminal migrants are gone. The gangs are gone. America is for Americans and Americans only. One man and that man, ladies and gentlemen, that man took a bullet for you. He took a bullet for democracy. Yeah, uh, you could have expected a line like that at the 1939 Nazi rally. 
except that as a Jewish person, Stephen Miller would not have been welcome. But other than that, this is exactly the sort of crazy rhetoric you would have expected then. And then no shortage of cringe from Elon Musk as well, who did get an opportunity to speak. Yeah. USA, USA, USA. It's almost like a question. USA, USA, USA. USA. Ah! Yes. Yeah. So let me give you the good news and the bad news. <laughs> uh, and it's a lot of damn bad news here. If this guy wins, we're in trouble. We're in real, real trouble. Now, let me give you a glimmer of hope. Shortly after the 1939 Nazi rally at Madison Square Garden, the Bund rapidly declined. Let's see what happens this time in just eight days. And what I can tell you for sure is that the 1939 Nazi rally did not wrap with Nazis doing the double jerk dance to a song about gay bathhouses, which oddly enough is how every Trump rally now ends. OK. Uh, we're joking around a little bit because we want to laugh a little bit to avoid crying. But a hate filled, disgusting event. And there was another aspect of this that requires some deeper examination, which is the comedy bit before the event started. Let's talk about that next. If you stay on top of the news, you follow politics and elections. Why not win cash for it? Manifold is the app and website where you can win cash for predicting what will happen next in politics, and it is free to play. Questions like, will Trump win the presidential election? Will Kamala Harris flip a state? Will political commentator Destiny appear on Joe Rogan's podcast? If you predict correctly, you win play money called mana or sweep cash. One sweep cash is redeemable for a US dollar. So if you predict right, you can turn it into cash. And the platform gives you free mana and sweep cash to play with every single day. Go to manifold.markets slash Pacman and you'll get free extra sweep cash just for signing up to start you on your journey. No purchase necessary to win cash or prizes. If you want to go bigger, you can use my link to get 40 extra sweep cash when you spend $20 on mana. If you put that 40 sweep cash on Trump losing the election, at the current odds, you win 70 sweep cash if he loses, redeemable for $70 cash. You must be a U.S. resident, 18 or older. See terms and conditions. The link is in the description.